Yo, fears, audience, what's up? I haven't done a vlog in a long time. And do you know why that is? Because for five days, five days, my stomach has been killing me. The Crohn's have been just, just attacking Fears' body like no other. It's been bad. Really bad. Do you guys see that couch? I have not moved off of that couch in days. I mean, look, I've got water bottles, Nutri-Grain bars, Star Trek. It was so bad. Fears his stomach was like cringing. I was running to the bathroom every 24 minutes. Now that Fears is feeling better, I thought we'd go out and do a vlog. But it's a, it's a surprise on what I'm going to do in the vlog. Shh. You guys will find out. Uh, now that I'm not on death's doorstop, not feeling like crap, uh, I literally thought I was going to die up in that room because my stomach was killing me. Whew. I hate. I hate having Crohn's. It's, it's the worst. All right. Let's get this vlog started. Join me. Shall you? that today is a beautiful day uh, the Sun is out it's shining uh, gorgeous day in uh, Wentzville Missouri um, got a pretty cool but chill vlog for you today um, like, like, I, like I was saying I have not went out in about four or five days um, the last time I went out was about four or five days ago uh, I went to the coffee shop uh, which will probably end up in this vlog at the end as we always do but yeah man uh, my stomach has been killing me for like the last four or five days so it's been pretty crazy so I apologize for the uh, the, the lack of vlogs uh, I've been doing a lot of streams and speaking of streams um, yeah if you guys only watch the vlogs some people only watch the vlogs. some people only watch the streams uh, got a little bit of news to tell you um, I'm trying to go for this job and uh, the training is down in uh, Orlando and so uh, I tried to go down there a couple uh, like, like a couple of days ago um, actually about a week week and a half ago and got all I got all the way down to Orlando and we had to turn all the way back because of bad weather so um, today and tomorrow are like my last days to goof off uh, because on August 20th, I have to go back to training. So attempt two at training. And if I pass all this training, then I get this amazing job that I've been talking about. And uh, it's gonna be worth it. Uh, the training's hard, they said, but they said once you get through it, 
it's totally worth it and I'm excited but I'm nervous so um, starting Monday I'm gonna have to refresh my brain on all of this um, information which means no more live streams for a couple of weeks I'm looking forward to um, you know a break though There's so much drama on YouTube it's ridiculous uh, Sometimes it's the most amazing thing in the world to be a YouTuber, and then other times it's such a burden and uh, a worry because of all these idiots trolling you and making stupid comments and uh, haters and people calling your house and like uh, death threats and uh, it's a it's a bunch of bullshit, guys. It really is. But um, uh, hopefully things get better. Um, after I take this uh, this long overdue break, I took a little bit of a break too last time, and it was good. But you know, um, it just wasn't long enough. It wasn't long enough. Uh, but anyway, the reason why I'm saying all this is, is while I'm gone, um, uh, I'm probably gonna have to do not much filming. So. I, I'll try and update you guys as best I can, you know, a vlog here, a vlog there, you know, an update here, an update there. I promised you guys a surprise in the vlog. And I actually got two surprises. One, I thought I'd show you guys Fierce's old high school. Um, it's on the way. I thought we'd drop by, just check out, um, you know, the outside. One day, I'll take you guys inside. I think that would be a cool vlog. Uh, a trip down memory lane uh, and go inside my high school. But I think they're in school right now because it is uh, the middle of the afternoon. So I thought we'd just cruise through uh, the parking lot. And I'll show you guys the outside. And then, um, because I haven't done a lot of vlogging, I haven't been in the mood to do any like video projects or any photography projects, I thought we'd go to my favorite childhood park and uh, take some pictures of like some flowers and some beautiful scenery and Fears loves photography if you don't know. I love video, I love videography and I love photography and uh, I thought that would make a pretty good uh, vlog. There it is, Fort Zumo West High. It's a great day to be a Jaguar and I guess they're not uh, in school so I guess uh, I guess we could go in and check it out uh, if it's not locked. Um, yeah, let's, let's try and, uh, and, and see if we can get in. But yeah, I used to come this way every day to school and, uh, man, it was a good education, guys. Like, uh, I made a lot of friends in, in, in this school. Uh, it was a really good time. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to go in, but, um, yeah. But I'll show you guys my old parking spot. I used to park way over here. Way off into the distance here. I used to come in, take an immediate right, and go all the way. Fears used to park all the way up at the front. And bam, right in front of this tree. It's grown a little bit, but right here. Man, does this bring back some memories. Used to play football there and Is the baseball field and they added those in um, I, th I think my senior year I'm pretty sure it was my senior year this big building here is the theater where fears used to do his acting uh, plays and uh, let's take a quick inside look I hope we can go inside if not um, you know because I don't want to bother anyone but uh, it would be great to see uh, how the old school has turned out it's been quite a while since I've been up here uh, so, we're going to attempt to go inside. Yep. Just like I thought. They're not going to allow us in. I guess the stadium's uh, closed because it's got a, there's a sign on it. But basically his name was Dave. Um, I forgot his name. I forgot his name, but uh, it's Dave. And because they have part of his name uh, thing. But yeah, they dedicated the football field to him. So, I thought that was really cool. It was a really nice gesture. Uh, he was a really good principal, guys. He really was. He was a really good principal. And a lot of good memories here. Of course, it is high school, so a lot of good memories, a lot of bad memories. We are moments, moments away from getting to the um, Fallon Park. Now, this park is super old, guys. I used to come here all the time. Lake, it's got, you know, picnic 
tables. It's a great place to come, like on a Sunday, Saturday afternoon, if you've got nothing to do. All right, guys, this is the uh, uh, the entrance to the park. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, there's a lot of people here. Uh, I can see a lot of cars in the background, so something must be going on. They have tons of activities uh, all day, every day in, in this park. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah, lots of people here. So, um... But it's a, it's a nice, big park, uh, gigantic lake. I don't know if you guys can see it. Tons of opportunities to take some cool pics. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna walk around and uh, get some cool pictures. I'm gonna walk around, uh, give you guys a little bit of a tour. In between the tour, guys, I'm gonna take some, uh, uh, some pictures, snap off a few shots, and uh, see what I come up with. Uh, but uh, anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. Um, it's kind of a relaxed day, so I thought, you know what? Why not a relaxed vlog, you know? And it's perfect. It's not too hot. It's not too cold today. It's kind of a perfect day. And I'm just remembering all these memories, man. Like me and my dad used to sit here and, uh, you know, we used to go fishing. See where those geese are across the lake? We used to go fishing right there. And we used to go fishing kind of right over there where that father and that son is and, and where those picnic tables are. We used to fish all around the lake, but our major spot was kind of where those geese are across the way. Uh, they built these bad boys to last, you guys, and then some. But, I mean, it's amazing that these have been here since the Civil War. Uh, but... I'll try to go inside and oh and they've added some steps and they've added some steps right here uh, but uh, I wonder if these are unlocked no I, I knew they'd be locked it, it was just maybe a chance I was like you know what it'd be kind of cool to go inside but uh, yeah I wonder what it was like you know uh, tons of years ago when the pilgrims uh, you know made these now nah, it's locked. We can't go inside, but um, we could maybe have a look inside the windows. I don't know if you guys can see much in there. It's kind of dark, but they've got some old, like, wooden furniture in there. And so just kind of gives you kind of a look of how the pioneers lived. Again, I don't know if you guys can see anything, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool history. Anyway, I'm going to take a few snapshots of this. I'm gonna take a few snapshots of the house, but uh, uh, that's some pretty cool uh, history. It's a beautiful day, but it's a, it's a very hot day. Uh, it's about 92 out here and 92 in Missouri with the humidity. Yours is, uh, I'm sweating a little bit. I'm sweating a little bit, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, the wind is blowing a little bit, so that's helping. But I uh, had to get this in the vlog. Very cool. Check out, check out how far I'm away from these uh, beautiful creatures. And if you look, there's a couple of their babies right there. I'm going to try and get real close. So we'll see how close I get. Hey, guys. He's kind of looking at me. Oh, he's kind of hissing. Hey guys just chilling out with the family we got the whole gang here we got the whole squad it'll let me come a little closer now nah, they're getting a little nervous I promise I'm not gonna hurt you guys what are you guys doing you're leaving your family <laughs> why are you guys leaving well apparently these guys don't care about their family they got four little ones over here and they've all walked away. Great parenting. Fears is out of shape. I'm already tired. I think it's partly because of the sun too. It's really hot out here. But uh, going into the shade now. Fears needs to get back into that gym -o. But yeah, this house has been here since they tell me since since the Civil War. It's made all out of brick. Some of the windows are boarded up. Obviously, they've added the concrete thing and I think they told me they redid the porch and stuff but they said 
the actual structure has been here since uh, the Civil War, so that's pretty cool. Just wanted to get a shot of it. Uh, it's pretty amazing that this place has been here since the Civil War. You can tell they've done some uh, refurbishment on it, but still pretty cool. I just got some beautiful pictures of this lovely garden in the park. So people live, that's the outside of the park. People live over there, but this is a garden inside the park and uh, they keep it up really nice. I got some beautiful pictures in there. I got a, pic a beautiful picture of this statue with the American flag blowing in the wind. Uh, I got some pretty good shots today. So now we are on the opposite side of the lake. I drove all the way around just to show you guys the other side of the lake. Uh, it's a fairly pretty big lake. It's really nice. Um, people, you know, uh, I used to I used to swim in it when I was a kid. Not anymore though, because as you can see, there's a lot of algae, and you probably wouldn't want to swim in it. But like long ago, there used to be no algae, and I used to swim all the time in this lake. And uh, like I said, me and my dad would fish here. We'd fish over there. We'd fish over there. We fish where that guy is way over there. Uh, it's a great place to come. It really is. It's uh, the old Fallon Park is definitely a spot that you guys want to check out if you're in the St. Louis area. It's uh, it's amazing. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Uh, I tried to show you guys the highlights. Uh, there's much more to this park than what I showed you. Um, if you get a chance, come on down to O'Fallon, Missouri. Um, it's about five to ten minutes away from Wentzville, Missouri, and uh, the O'Fallon Fort Zumwalt Park is in the dead center of town, and yeah, you can't miss it. And be sure to check it out because. Uh, it's a really cool park. Pretty fun day. Uh, my my t-shirt is just drenched with sweat. I'm trying to cool off uh, in the air condition. And uh, now I'm gonna go get something to eat. I haven't had like a full meal in days. So I'm gonna try and get some food down me. And then uh, off to the coffee shop to edit this vlog for you guys. And who knows, I may get one last stream in. If you guys are nice, if you guys are nice. I want food, and I want it now. I shouldn't be here because it's not healthy food, but it's Fierce's favorite food. I think you guys know where I'm going with this. That's right. BK Lounge. BK Lounge. The best burgers ever. Just when you thought people couldn't get more lazy, they got more lazy. So check this out. Usually when you go to a restaurant, a fast food restaurant, you either go through the drive-thru or you come in and eat in the establishment. Now with Grubhub, Grubhub, you don't even have to go through the drive-thru. You can download this app, you order the food, Burger King makes the food, and then these people come from Grubhub, the app, and they deliver it right to your house or wherever you want it to be delivered to. Really, people? Come on. I mean, I'm not pissed off or anything, but people have gotten so lazy in, in this in this generation. It's so crazy. So if you... Thank you. Thank you for my food. I appreciate it. Uh, if you download this app, uh, you can get Grubhub. Fears will never download Grubhub. I'm not that lazy. I can go through the drive-thru or I can sit here and eat my food. What is the matter with people these days? No Grubhub. You know what I think of Grubhub? This is what I think of Grubhub. That's what I think of Grubhub. That's what I think of Grubhub. BK Lounge. BK Lounge. Oh yes. Oh yes. It's so good. It's so good. Mmm. That's good. I'm so glad that Feeders' stomach is feeling better. So I can have like a proper meal. Um. I'm just enjoying some Din Din. Oh. Mmm. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. The coffee shop awaits. The coffee shop awaits. Alrighty, just get my stuff here, guys. Mm. 
Alrighty. Give me a second. I'm locking my car up. That wonderful, 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 wonderful coffee shop awaits. It's been a good day. It's been a hot day, but a good day. And uh, be sure to check out this video on my uh, on my channel. And uh, Fierce loves you. And Fierce cares about you.